uh, vocal level is a bit better than previously. Um, I never actually watched it back after recording the the, f the other ones, so I didn't realize that my voice was quite so low. I'm not I'm not yelling or anything because I'm doing uh, these late at so night. Much for this road. And Just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Come on. Omega. Omega has gone to bed. As you can see, there's no one in the chat <laughs> because hmm, what happened very few people can. Two? What do you mean? You and Tommy. You're not together, so clearly something went wrong. We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Ah, here we go. So what was it about? Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. And <laughs> that's why he joined the Fireflies. <laughs> yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? last time you saw him. I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. Jeez. But he's gonna help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, if they're without his help, we'll get there. Let's just keep going. Well, as, well, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by the drama. Um, yeah. Meh. <coughs> Very few people give a crap about this. If you do, <coughs> Thank you very much. Though I'm not really doing this for the views, I'm doing this for... Uh, for myself. What the fuck do we... Hey, Ian. I was just whining. completely losing my track of where I'm supposed to go. There we go. Just follow Ellie. She knows where she's going. Those are really nice depictions of bluebells. The place I'm from in Ireland has uh, some of the highest concentration of bluebells, I believe, on the planet. It's like we're, we're noted for it. Well, I'll, I'll try not to disappoint. I'm thinking I'll probably get to somewhere in the university before I end with this, because I'm trying to do it roughly... Whoa, what's that? Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. <laughs> I, a hydro who? It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. How's it do that? Look, I know what it is. I don't know how it does it. All right. How are we getting across? Yeah, I'll try not to disappoint. Oh yeah, I'll um, right. probably go, go to some point in the university. I'm doing these in about two hour blocks. For a couple of different sad reasons. Diablo. Here we go, this won't work. Okay, maybe it will. Up, we'll make it across. Look, look. Great, need to go inside for that. This guy's clothes must be really, really cold. Like all the time. Collapsible down there. All right, I need you to. I know. Step on the fucking pallet. <coughs> it's 
still think it's funny that uh, she played the waitress in the Avengers who was in a bunch of scenes and most of them were cut out. Give it a spin. Give me a telegram. Hey, be careful crossing that thing. I will. Teamwork. How's the audio? I lowered the, the audio of the game because I noticed in the um, when I looked this to the video that my voice was way too low. That's too small. Great. I forgot to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? I mean, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen and we move on. It's just. That's enough. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. Beloved gruff beard man Joel Miller, who everyone loves apparently, for reasons that I find unfathomable. past this place, then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Joel, you're responsible for a great many things. I think I missed something over here. Is there like a building I can get into? There's the two paths. One of these takes us to Tommy and the other is an extra place. Okay, there's Tommy. <coughs> oh no, this just takes us right back there again. Fuck. Well, that was pointless. through the plant. Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie, do as the lady says. Hey, please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. What are you doing, baby brother? God damn. Yeah. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. 
Don't happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. <sighs> we all gotta get wrangled up at some point. Well. Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? Starving. False alarm! They're friendlies! We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone. He gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. Um. All right, let's continue the tour. I have never seen Kung Fu Rascals, but if you want to tell me about it in the chat, in uh, small bits, yeah. because you you supposed to head back this morning? big messages don't all come up. The rest of the I'd be happy. Me. Yeah, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. Just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right. Look, take it easy. Your funeral, dude. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's included. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. Oh, the Zen Cinema guy. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. Most of that guy's film seems to be post-apocalyptic, or at least they can be mistaken for it. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. 
It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? Adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We can get an electrified fence when the plant opens. But we still got to deal with infected, though, right? And who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. <laughs> Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. Good dog. So, I'm getting a vague... Uh, Six string samurai. These sound. two geniuses are gonna bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No luck. Stealing all your shit. Alright, let's do this. Sounds a bit silly. To the left. Watch it. Okay, that's good. Lower it. Slowly. Well, what do I know? I just ordered a copy of Assassinat. A new movie by the director of The Taint. Alright, that's good. Tommy's here. We good to go? Jimmy! Ready? Go ahead. Hit it. Here we go. God damn. We did it, boys. Nice work, boys. Somebody get on the horn and give Maria the good news. You see that? Yeah, pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. Nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I'm supposed to deliver to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys, you finish the job, you collect the whole damn thing. I haven't seen a Firefly in years. Did you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me. It wasn't worth it. I 
bring you the cure from mankind, and you want to play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Beloved gruff beard man, Joey Miller. Shit! Bandit! Totally not a Stop terrible him. human Don't being. Don't let him into the building! Shit, did I kill two of them? <laughs> you guys are terrible shots. Even worse than me. Tommy, cover me. You guys see anything? We got him. Let's get to the bridge. Bandits, they're breaking into the building. Can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. We're gonna come to you. Just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Maria, God damn it. Oh shit, Max. We gotta get to the girls! Right behind you. Joe, do your thing.
Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm fine. So, oh man, they were coming in from every direction. And then Maria was like, "We gotta run!" And so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with slow a down, shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, then, hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it! I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this anger. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? What's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? We'll talk about it later. Later. Right. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. Well, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. Dun dun dun. Star riding on out of here. Go back inside. Help the others clean the place up. Okay. Be careful out there. <clears throat> there. Yeah. The tracks? Get more movies done. Or, uh, reviews. Um, what I'm editing right now, I've got Monster nearly finished, which I've had for several months because we lost the footage. So I'm trying to organize the camera. She couldn't have gone far. In. We'll find it. Don't worry. Stubborn kid. She usually pull these stunts. Nothing like this. What's going on? Uh, Monster was uh, it was filmed uh, last summer at Con Bravo. I'm sitting on that for a while. Uh, currently editing Begotten. So that's fun. Wish she didn't go down this way. Get him! Tracks.
As you can see, I'm not the best player at this. Back to the horses. What well trained horses? Apparently, the TV version is going, they've announced that they're going to have a jaw dropping twist, which was considered for the game but not put into the game. But they give no information of what that is, or just a jaw dropping element. Personally, I'm hoping for infected animals, like they had some c c concept designs done for an infected lion. And I hope it's not something Drag stupid. Going this way. Just hope they didn't get to her. You know, something stupid like uh, Ellie is actually Jules' daughter, or something dumb like that. Some of the concept designs for Infected when they were in production in the first game were Lovecraftian. You got this one where it's like a weird infected octopus thing created of like eight people. Hope the third game, you know, whenever that's done, they uh, bring back some of that weird shit. So in about the two minutes Ellie went past, those guys appeared. God damn it. So either she snuck past them on the horse, <laughs> or they appeared right after her. Hey, Drizix. There you looks clear. I'm just lasting, oving, ussing. careful. Oh, by the way, Ellie? I have a... Stop talking, Joel. I have a, um, Renegade Ellie? Type... God damn it. I'm here. Jesus Christ. I have a Renegade Cunt type idea for a Last of Us Theory video. I suppose this footage might end up in it at some point. Um, because I'll explain it in brief. Ellie's immunity, Ellie's immunity, either the cordyceps mutated in her, or she's naturally immune. If she's naturally immune, but she also reads as infected, which she does, that means that she's a carrier. She's Typhoid Mary. If she bites someone, or has sex with them, or kisses them, they'll get infected. Clearly that's not the case. However, if the cordyceps mutated when it entered her body, and it's not that her that's immune, but the cordyceps 
mutated uh, just on the off chance and it became in synchronicity with her. She's only immune now because to the rest of the cordyceps, she's already infected. But it's it's it basically like regular cordyceps is smallpox and she accidentally has cowpox. So, if that's the way it works, whenever she bites someone or exchanges bodily fluids or something, she could be infecting them with her cowpox version of cordyceps. Which means, uh, Dina, Abby, David from the end of this game, all might be immune to infection. Yeah, she might be the vaccine herself. Because those are the only two ways I can make sense of her condition working. And it definitely can't be one of them. So that's what I, I think. I think that's going to be like the uplifting twist in the third game. They don't need to kill Ellie for the vaccine. They just need her blood. And they'll work this out. It's not actually about the... about. It's not her brain that made it happen. It's the cordyceps. And so if everyone gets this cowpox version of cordyceps, they got that. Hell, they might actually uh, might actually find out that uh, the cordyceps had a different effect on her. Like maybe uh, she maybe the reason she can handle a lot of shit in the in the second game is because of alterations done to the cordyceps. Maybe it increases someone's aggression. Maybe it makes them harder to kill. Who knows? As you know, if there's a third one, it's going to have a happy ending. You know, the middle part is always the dark one, and they're not going to continue making it like a misery thing. But they'll, they'll leave it at such a point that they can do sequels afterwards, but it'll be it'll be that you don't have to have sequels afterwards, if that makes sense. really all they had to worry about? Boys? Movies? Deciding which shirt goes with which skirt? It's bizarre. Get up. We're leaving. Come on. And if I say no? Do you even realize what your life means? Huh? Running off like that, putting yourself at risk? It's pretty goddamn stupid. Well, I guess we're both disappointed with each other then. What do you want from me? Admit that you wanted to get rid of me the whole time. Tommy knows this area. Oh, fuck than... that. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? That I'm going to end up like Sam? I can't get infected. I can take care of myself. How many close calls have we had? Well, we seem to be doing all right so far. And now you'll be doing even better with Tommy. Not her, you know. What? Maria told me about Sarah. Ellie? You are treading on some mighty thin ice here. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is. Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. Everyone fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I would be safer with someone else because the truth is I would just be more scared. Joel's a dick. You're right. You're not my daughter. And I 
sure as hell ain't your dad. But we are going our separate ways. Get it together. We're not alone. We got two walking. There's more inside already. Taking the bait? Disappointed. Hang back. Oh, we're down there. There we go. Good boy. down the Terminator. That's why I don't try, right. I shouldn't try to show off. House is clear. Let's get back to the horses. Well, <clears throat> well done, Zelda Rubinstein. You, how did your painting go, Ian? We're clear. You want a hand up? Got it. There she is. Kids will be watching movies tonight. Where is this lab of theirs? It's all the way out, University of Eastern Colorado. Go big horns. <laughs> Haley, get off your horse. Keep it on back to Tommy. I'm gonna hang on to this fella. That's all right with you. Go on, don't make me repeat myself. What are you doing? Your wife kind of scares me. <laughs> I don't want her coming after you. Sorry for stealing your horse. Well, come back to town. Let's discuss it at least. You know me, my mind's all made up. University, Eastern Colorado. How do I find this lab? It's in the science building. Looks like a giant mirror. You, you can't miss it. Take care of that wipe here. There's a place for you here, you know? You good? I'm good. Adios, little brother. I well, hope you can air it out. But what's that? What happened there? Jewel changed his mind? 
turnover. And if you clear the 10 yards, then you're back at first down? First down, that's right. Man, that's confusing. <laughs> you just gotta play it a couple times. It all makes sense. Joel changed his mind. This is terrible. How did this happen? I mean, everyone who was complaining about the start of the second game has told me that, you know, Joel would never change his mind, he would never, like, you know, give away his name, even though it was Tommy that did that. And, you know, it was terrible writing, but there you go, Joel told her that he would not, he was not gonna take her. And then, literally nothing happened except for killing some dudes in a short walk, and he's changed his mind. Almost as though drama happens, and people change their mind, because people do that. Almost as though if you're invested okay, in the drama, you can believe shit. <laughs> to central grounds. Should be able to see most of the campus from there. Stay, Callis. What kind of name is Callis anyways? Not my fault you forgot to ask Tommy his name. Flamthrower. Very cool program. people you think are there? The fireflies, I mean. I reckon it takes quite a crew to run that operation. Do you think there'll be other people my age? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Sounds like runners. Stay with the horse. I'll get you there. <laughs> yes, I don't want him running off. I'll be right back. So, I'm wondering why there's infected here. They've been here for a long time. You know, there's the bloater and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking the fireflies left them there so they knew what buildings and what routes were safe and they sort of did it strategically so that anyone who came into the area would probably run into the infected. Use them as a natural defense. Thrower or Molotovs because I got the bloater coming up. So.
accidental bottleneck. That a fact. Yeah. Can you imagine being up there all by yourself? Would have been cool. I'm just saying. What about you? What do you want? Uh, right when I was a kid, I used to want to be. We had to rig the door to the generator upstairs. Please use it sparingly. <laughs> Up. We're running out of I'm gas. Serious. Sing something. Uh, no. Come on, I won't laugh. I don't think so. Joel, please. <laughs> Who's going back? Come on. <laughs> monkeys. Aw, are those monkeys? Yeah, a whole mess of them. Seeing a monkey? First time seeing a monkey. Hey, look. Firefly. All right. Let's try that gate. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Go and have some fun. This was a very tense level first time I played this. No, not so much. What was that I just picked up? Health supplements. Pills. Like steroids. The kind of thing that I'm told if from the people annoyed in Last of Us 2 don't actually exist in the apocalypse. And like, if you don't like Last of Us 2, that's perfectly cool. I got no problem with that. It's some of the complaints are ridiculous and people who seem to have had a, a genuine emotional reaction, a negative emotional reaction to it and they're trying to intellectualize their negative emotional reaction Damn it, spores. you don't really need to intellectualize a negative emotional reaction experience it and go from there I mean, Abby. I mean, the thing about Abby's muscles, um, cordyceps, 
in real life is a health is a supplement used to build muscle so th there is quite a big supply of cordyceps in this world I, I can think of few things more last of us in world building terms than people taking dead infected farming the mushrooms off them and then eating them obviously you'd have to you know co heavily cook them or something but I don't see why it wouldn't be edible. A lot of things will fuck you up if you eat them raw. But if you eat them well cooked, you'll be fine. Okay, bloater. Bloater, 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 bloater. I'll bloat around other guys. I did too many magic mushrooms. Oh, 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 oh. Thunder six. Hold a what? I killed everything in there. I mean, the infected get hurt a lot by fire. Occasionally you see infected piles of dead bodies, you know, burned. So clearly, the infection doesn't like fire. So, well-cooked cordyceps should be edible. Maybe we're going to see a faction at some point who farm infected. More infected, I'm fine. Here, come up on the gate. How did you hear that? Oh, it was, was, it was like some Molotovs and flamethrowers and shit. It's not like, a, oh, there was a shotgun blast. Cult of the Shrews. I mean, it's ridiculous, but I've got to admit, it makes world building sense. Let's try the gate. I'd love to see a scene in the third one. Did it! Yeah. There are some kids playing Mario Brothers.
Gooch. Those clickers. I think they were fireflies? No. No, I don't think so. Why would they have an effect so close to the lab? Well, Bill used them as a form of defense. Maybe they're doing the same. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> to see someone by now. Let's get inside. We're not getting any thunder and lightning in Ireland, so I get to look at Twitter and see how it Goodbye. is for people in England and being like, well, guess it cross guess it doesn't stop at the border. Sorry, guess it does stop at the border. Come on. Get over. Yeah. <laughs> no, not as a student, at least. Why not? Uh, I had Sarah when I was pretty young. Yeah. Were you married? For a while. What happened? Okay. Too much? Too much. Are we ever going to find living fireflies? We better. Let's go back. Where's that green thing? There we go. <laughs> that does not look like a giant mirror. All right, not what I had in mind. So open it lose power. I have right, some work inside. to do after this. Come on, kiddo, give me your hand. There you go. Thanks. Let's look around. Since there's no action scenes coming up for a little bit, if anyone has any questions or anything they want to ask, I can answer while, you know, rushing around and collecting random shit. Just 
draw some blood. It don't hurt. I've gotten shots before. They've acted in the of school. There you go. down until we figure out what's going on. Nothing useful. Ain't nothing here but a bunch of medical mumbo jumbo. I don't get it. it. Looks like they all just packed up and left in a hurry. Maybe not all of them. Stay close. It's pretty funny. The fireflies they start off in Boston, then they keep going east, going west. Sorry. You know they were here. They left. They end up in. Uh, Colorado, wherever it is, Salt Lake City, and then uh, in the second one they've, they're only in Santa Barbara. Last was three, they're gonna end up in Hawaii. The fireflies don't really appear very much, but at the very end it's revealed they have a base in, in Santa Barbara, uh, um, uh, a co on a little island off the coast, um, and uh, Abby and Lev, two of the main characters, go off and uh, the, the implication is they go off and find them and they join up with them, therefore setting up what's probably going to happen in three. Of course, Abby and her team in two are all ex Fireflies who were part oh, of the, who survived the Salt Lake City oh, thing right. at the end of this game. That's good, right? We find out where they went. Elephant Matango.
shit. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. Got me some time to reflect. I'm Steve Bloom. Been years that felt like we were fucking thing was a giant waste of time. I'm not gonna do this anymore. Come on. Even for the others. They've all returned to St. Mary's Hospital in Salt Lake City. You'll find them there. Still trying to save the world. <laughs> Good luck with that. Do you know where that is? I know the city. Is it far? It ain't close. When you're on horseback. What? Fireflies? Get down! Oh. What the fuck are these? It don't matter. We know where to go. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, uh, it's just Nolan North sending his men up to cause some trouble. As he does.
Disapproving statues. Blood on the side of the thing. It was very realistic. Move Excellent it. work. There's no one here. Hurry. You're doing good. Just keep at it. Oh, man. Here, lean on me. No. Well, can you walk? Yes. Then fucking walk. So Sounds about right. <coughs> you wish. <coughs> they're, they're always very vague about how far things are and how long it takes to travel. Wait here. I'll get the door. Take your time. <coughs> Come on. I think we're safe. Joel? Joel? Shit. Joel! Here. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. 
You gotta tell me what to do. Come on. You gotta get up. Joel. They're probably pretty vague about exact how long things exactly take because then people, if they weren't, people would realize you could have a whole other game just between the the episodes in this one. And they're like, we want Last of Us 1.5. What happened between Boston and Pittsburgh? Between Pittsburgh and Wyoming, etc. You don't need to hang it, too. You already killed it. You'll just startle it. Where'd you go? There you are. Bucky! Captain Bucky, you stag. Because a buck is a baby, is a young deer, and because they just killed a rabbit. See, multi-leveled in my humor. My God, that joke was so bad. Three people left the chat. Fantastic. Still alive. Oh yeah, like uh, like Nolan North in this game. Yeah. Where well, I'm David. I sound like Ronald Reagan. If he would eat you as well as be a terrible president. This is not the right way. Where the f No, he did go this way. <coughs> not need a hint. How are you still alive? I'm following it. I'm just trying not to run because if you run and it gets, sees you, it gets spooked and it runs away. <sighs> to be fair, you can't trust anyone you meet in The Last of Us. I mean, the game sort of reinf you know, hits you in the head with that quite a lot.
would have been a nice change of pace, I actually, if you had um, Ellie and Joel meeting up with some people and there being a misunderstanding. And Joel ki and Ellie killing the other ones. And then we discover oh, in a twist that they were actually nice people. Like, oh cool. no, the pathos. This place is not creepy at all. We just want to talk. Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. What do you want? Um, name's David. This here's my friend James. We're from a larger group. Women, children. We're all very, very hungry. So am I. Women and children. All very hungry too. Well, uh, maybe we could uh, trade you for some of that meat there. What do you need? Weapons? Ammo? Clothes? Medicine! You have any antibiotics? We do. Back at the camp. You're welcome to follow us I'm back. not following you anywhere. Buddy boy can go get it. He comes back with what I need. The deer is all yours. Anyone else shows up... You put one right between my eyes. That's right. Bottles of the penicillin in a syringe. Make it fast. Go on. I'll take that rifle. Of course. Back up. Probably gonna be a while. You, uh, mind if we take some shelter from the cold? Bring him with us. He must be really strong if he can drag that in. shouldn't be out here all on your own. I don't like company. I see. What's your name? Why? Look, I understand it's not easy to trust a couple of strangers. Whoever's heard, you clearly care about them. I'm sure it's gonna be just fine. We'll see. You have your pistol. Hope you know how to use that thing. I've had some practice. No matter what, we have to keep them out. Let's hope they don't find them. Cover the windows. Okay. Better 
shots with that thing than I am. Give me a hand with this. No, you don't need me. Help so me you're with this thing. You're Oh yeah, sorry, this is a trick down for Calibre to, to explain to the video. If you if you waste your ammo and your rifle, David will still show you in the hallways. So it's good to use the rifle. Basically, the world's greatest last of us is a speedrunner. Got some videos on funky tricks. Where the fuck is she coming from? Screw it. We're getting out of this room. You don't need to worry about me. Stay close. In fact, you probably need to Hey, kid, you all right? I'm fine. More flickers. Get out of there! It's amazing how everyone drops all this ammo for weapons that you have. Boost me up. Ready? Huh? Huh? <coughs> you be quick. You keep a lookout for those things. 
I know. Through here. Yeah, no shit. Okay, old man. Jeez. Looks like someone already fought those things in the woods. choice. Kill a bunch ready. of guys before they even got in. Doing fine, kid. 
It doesn't feel like it. Just stay focused. We'll make it. Here come more. How many of these things are there? I have no idea. Just keep at it. Killed all of them? Oh, don't sound so disappointed. More like disbelief. I'll check the bridge. What does film brain have to do with this? Oh, we mean the deal. <laughs> well, you handled yourself pretty nice back there. <laughs> Whew. I'd say we make a pretty good team. We got lucky. <laughs> lucky? No, no. No such thing as luck. <sighs> now, you see, I believe that everything happens for a reason. You sure? I do. And I can prove it to you. Now, this winter, that's been especially cruel. Now, a few weeks back, I uh, sent a group of men out a nearby town to look for food. Only a few came back. They said that the others had been uh, slaughtered by a crazy man. And get this, he's a crazy man traveling with a little girl. You see, everything happens for a reason. Don't get upset, but it's not your fault. I'm just a kid. James, lower the gun. No way, David. I'm not gonna let her Lower go. Lower the gun. Now give her the medicine. The others won't be happy about this. Yeah, well, that's not your concern. Move the fuck out of the way. 
won't survive long out there. I can't protect you. Oh, thanks. Let's get out of here. Oh. I only managed to get a little bit of food, <laughs> but I did get this. Move your arm. There was all the snow covering my tracks. I'm gonna draw them away from here. I'll come back for you.
screw David then. I ain't taking big old boy. Freaking my ass off. Get her! You gotta pay for that! Nature track. Okay, that should get me out of here. <laughs> okay, don't fall in the water. Don't fall in. Oh shit.
trapped in here. Dude, at some point they should cut their losses. No, this is not the whole group. ridiculously big for where they are. some time. What is it? It's deer. Is some human helping on the side? No. No, I, I promise. It's just the deer meat. You're a fucking animal. <laughs> it's awfully quick to judgment. Considering you and your friend killed how many men? They didn't give us a choice. And you think we have a choice? Is that it? Yeah. You kill to survive. And so do we. We have to take care of our own, by any means necessary. So now what? You gonna chop me up into tiny pieces? <laughs> I'd rather not. Please tell me your name. You're so full of shit. On the contrary, I've been, uh, been quite honest with you. Now I think it's your turn. It's the only way I'm going to be able to convince the others. Convince them of what? That you can come around. You have heart. You're loyal. And you're special. Oh. Very difficult to 
keep you alive. Where am I supposed to tell the others now? Ellie. What? Tell them that... Ellie is the little girl who broke your fucking finger! How did you put it? Huh? Tiny pieces. See you in the morning, Ellie. Okay, that's where I will call it a session. If uh, I'm thinking tomorrow, <coughs> no, maybe not tomorrow night, but whenever it'll be the last one, the next one, that'll be the last one, because I think I can probably do the rest in two hours at my fairly lethargic rate. Uh, hope you've been enjoying it. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>